To all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome back to the very last episode of Beyond Logic for this year, for 2019. This is the last one. And I thought what we could do today is uh, two things really. So first of all, we need to upgrade to 1.15. So we were gonna do that and uh, go on the lookout for some bees and that kind of stuff. But also I thought this would be a good opportunity to have a review of the year and talk about what we've been up to, uh, what projects we've done and kind of just, yeah, to kind of talk about uh, maybe, maybe a bit of behind the scenes bits and pieces as well. And also uh, some plans for the future. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff and uh, and what we do with one 15 then yeah why don't you stick around but before we get into that we need to talk about this thing right here all of these chests this is one of the things we set up last episode inside our raid farm and there's a bit of a flaw here uh, and in fact quite a big flaw <laughs> so I was uh, I was rushing a little bit at the end of the last episode to get it finished and I totally uh, missed something and that is that uh, this this thing we've got set up to do in the item disposal once we've uh, sorted through all of these chests doesn't actually work well it works for this chest so all the items here get drained out of the hopper and get sent out into the void that way but of course um, none of these other chests are linked to this chest. So let's say that that chest is emptied, um, all the items go through there, and of course it picks other, other items from this hopper, which picks from this hopper, and up the hopper chain all the way up to the top. And of course, any items in these chests will just end up getting stuck there. So what we need to do is we need to zig that, zigzag this uh, across so all the items from all the chests end up filtering through down into there. So let's get that done first, and then I think it's time to upgrade to 1.15. The zigzagging of chests is now complete and we have fixed that issue. So that is all done. So now the items, they come through uh, from this top hopper chain right here into the top chest. And then as you can see, they filter through uh, to a hopper into a chest, hopper chest all the way down, zigzagging down to the bottom to our item disposal. So that is now set up and ready to go. So we're ready to use this farm again. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So the next thing to do uh, is to do the upgrade to 1.15. Now, with 1.15, there is a couple of things uh, to mention. And first of all, we need to talk about some mods that we use. So we use uh, two mods uh, mainly um, when it comes to creating this series and their quality of life things are also things to do with uh, creating content. So first of all, the replay mod. So we use that for time lapses, that kind of stuff. And we could do some cool stuff with the camera. Um, so it looks like the, the current developers of that mod um, are not going to be updating it anytime soon. Um, there is some talk of some other developers maybe picking it up and doing it um, in the meantime, but uh, at the moment there's no kind of uh, ETA for if and when <laughs> a replay mod might be updated to 1.15. Um, I hope it is because it's super useful and super cool, uh, but uh, we're going to have to make do without that for, 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 for the time being. Oh, look at that, I landed on the trench. <laughs> So let's walk around here, why not? <laughs> so um, so we're gonna have to make do without that for time being. So I know some content creators aren't updating just yet um, because of that, because of replay mod, but I think we need to carry on anyway and we'll, we'll make do as best we can. Um, the other thing is Optifine. So with Optifine, um, I use that mainly for two things. First of all, it's for uh, some optimizations, that kind of stuff. And also the other thing is the most important feature, which is this, the zoom key. This is super important. I can't live without the zoom key. It's really good for, for, for creating content and uh, you know, having a good good view of stuff from a distance. So yeah, so that is the key thing I use Optifine for, for funnily enough. Um, now Optifine is not gonna be updated anytime soon as well. It's, it's, it's uh, being worked on at the moment, but uh, we don't know when that's gonna be available. Now, when it comes to the uh, optimizations it provides, um, I'm thinking maybe that's not such a big issue. Um, I've got a new machine and 1.15 is, uh, supposedly optimized a bit more so hopefully it's going to be uh, loading pretty good yeah the, the chunk loading that kind of stuff is going to be better anyway so maybe that's not so much of an issue um but the zoom key certainly is an issue because i need it definitely <laughs> but there is good news on that front that is i've written my very first mod and it's called logical zoom and guess what it does the zoom just like this. <laughs> so we're going to test it out here. Um, first trial run in the real world, we're going to give it a go and see how it looks. Um, so I've basically just tried to mimic um, exactly how um, Optifine works and I think it does all right. So that's what we're going to do. So let's upgrade this world to 1.15. Let's try out our logical zoom and yeah, see how things are. This is now 1.15.1 and we're about to load up uh, our single player world for the first time. Let's see how this goes. Do you really want to load this world? Yep, I've already done a backup, so uh, we should be good. I know what I'm doing, kind of. <laughs> see, let's see what happens. Hopefully this will all be good. So it takes a few seconds to load up, and once it does, we should hop in and, okay. 
The world has loaded. That's a good sign. <laughs> a good good sign. A good sign, <laughs> even. So let's check. Let's check this screen right here. There we go. 1.15.1. We're on fabric. Um, so we can load in some, some mods uh, when we need to. But of course, we don't have any mods installed except for one, and that is Logical Zoom is actually installed. So let's get rid of that and let's see if this thing actually works. So this is the first time I've tried it in an actual world. So <laughs> this is a big, a big test. So we need to go to our options, first of all, options, and we can go to controls. And if we, if we scoot down here, maybe at the bottom, check it out. Check it out. Logical Zoom. The C key, <laughs> oh yes. All right, so we don't have Optifine, but let's see, is this actually gonna work? So my, my C key is ready. Let's hover over the, the map. Check it out, <laughs> we can zoom, oh yes. <laughs> Brilliant, all right, let's go for a flight outside and see how this looks. But first of all, check this out. We need our, we need our, our texture pack, isn't working. That is the first thing we can see. So our black nether brick is not working, so. Need to look at that stuff. And oh, look at this. Uh oh. <laughs> Our textures are definitely an issue. So we need to look at that. Oh, this looks weird. It looks weird without the black, the black nether brick. So we need to look at look into that and see what's going on there. So that is definitely a thing to look at. <laughs> First thing, yeah. And our beam is not correct. So yeah, so texturing is definitely an issue. But everything is here and uh as it should be. So that is a good first sign. Now, one thing I do want to test out, first of all is our Enderman farm because that was super noisy and uh, pretty uh, pretty obnoxious when we use it. So let's hop in here and see how these uh, these things sound now. Okay, something's not working. They all fell down, but the pistons did not fire. So there is something has broken in this place, which is not great, but let's test out the sound. Let's see, because this was pretty loud before. That's definitely better, <laughs> a lot, lot better. So that is a good fix in terms of the sound. So we can uh, repair our tools again. But for some reason, these pistons are not working. So they should be all firing and sending all of the uh, all of the Enderman down to the center. So let me look into that and see what is going on. OK, I think I fixed it. So I've come up here and it turns out there was an issue here. We have just over here, we have a double piston extender. And that is uh, that starts the the cascading uh, uh, pistons all the way down, and it was extending over here, but the second piston wasn't uh, extending and uh, uh, being detected by this observer, so it was just an issue with some timing, it looks like. So this repeater here was on was on the second setting, so I've moved it back to the third, and done it on both sides, and that now seems to have worked. So let's go down here and yeah, get some uh, get some repairing done. Oh, hello, <laughs> what happened there? Oh, was it you, guy? Get out of here. <laughs> so let's get some repairing done. I need to repair my pick. So let's uh, let's see how this works. And so that farm is fixed. And the other thing that is now fixed as well is our textures. So it turns out that I just had to uh, reload them in and it was all good. So there is our, our black nether brick and also our, our beam texture is in as well. So that is all good. Does look a little bit different. Looks a bit darker than before, I think, um, but still green. So uh, I'm happy with that. And yeah, this is looking good. So I think um, what we're going to do now is I think the next thing I want is to try and find some bees. And as we do that, what we'll do is we'll go around the world and uh, we'll try a few bits and pieces here and there, see how things look and yeah, take it from there. First thing to check out is our witch farm. As you can see, they're coming up the tube and also falling out of, uh, <laughs> or being thrown out by the witch. So the witch farm is still working, so that is great. I've been doing a bit of AFK over here in between episodes to get, to, get some more redstone and our zoom is working. <laughs> <laughs> so also, uh, so all this basically does is it changes the field of view uh, to I think it's 18, I think I set it at, and also uh, turns on the smooth camera. And then when you turn it, when you uh, release the mouse, uh, it puts it back. So that's all it does. Pretty straightforward uh, in terms of a mod. But yeah, pretty happy that this is working in 1.15 without Optifine. Yes. <laughs> all right. So this is working. Great stuff. All right. So let's uh, let's go on over to the next place. Um, not sure what we're going to see next, but yeah, bees are definitely on the list of things to find. Of course, on the way back from the witch farm, we need to try out our piston bolt. So let's see uh, how this works or if it works still. It looks like it. Yes, this is good. All right, let's make sure uh, we get out the other side. Yeah, we uh, we are dismounted properly, but this is looking good. I'm very happy about that. I don't want to uh, have to fix this kind of stuff. So that's good. And we hop out right here. Great. Awesome.
we uh, that looks like that's working and we definitely need to clear all this stuff up that's uh, a job for another day but uh, let's go up here i want to go back over to the overworld and do some scouting uh, for some planes i think is where the bees spawn and then we can talk about uh, yeah the year in review and also some plans for the future i'm back at spawn at hill valley and i have found an issue um i had heard rumors of this before but i hadn't seen it but now i have so let's check it out let's have a look at the clock tower and as you can see of our clock over there doesn't look so good that is because it's um it was based on a paint a painting with a transparent background and it looks like there's an issue with transparent backgrounds on paintings so as you can see around the outside of the clock it kind of has this weird kind of artifact looks like it's, it's extending the colors uh, surrounding it so that's not all that good there is a bug report so hopefully that's going to get fixed at some point so we just have to uh, <laughs> work around that for the time being but yeah everything else is looking pretty good not seeing anything too too difficult or too uh, too much of an issue and uh, flying is definitely a lot easier which is a really good thing so we need to fly around and look for some bees now i'm not quite sure what direction to go in so i'm just going to pick one at random so let's go this way i guess and let's see if we can find some uh, some beehives and yeah then we can grab some bees and take them back to the death star because i do want to create a bee farm um we need to get some honey blocks because they're we're definitely going to be building some uh, contraptions with those things so that will be pretty cool so we need to get uh, at least a few bees to start with and then we can breed them up so let's go this way and see what we can find and as we do yeah let's talk about the year in review so let's kick off by talking about some stats um, numbers are something that uh, I'm always interested in looking at graphs that kind of thing so let's talk about some numbers so first of all let's talk about subscribers so at the beginning of this year uh, we had about 7,000 subscribers and it took about 18 months uh, to get there uh, which is not too bad for a, for a new channel um, these things take a bit of time but this year uh, we've uh, we've exploded <laughs> in comparison so uh, we've got an, an extra 33,000 subscribers in just this year and so that's taken us to uh, just above uh, 40,000 subscribers so that is absolutely insane look at this new village <laughs> so that is absolutely crazy to me 40,000 people have pressed that subscribe button so yeah that's pretty amazing pretty amazing stuff so thank you to everyone for the support that has been truly truly amazing and humbling <laughs> in many ways so yeah so that is uh, our first kind of uh, you know good news i guess on the on the stats front um the second thing is let's talk about views because views are something as well that's obviously important when it comes to uh, when it comes to youtube so at the uh, at the end of uh, last year so in uh, in 2018 we had about 650,000 views across all of our videos now in this year things have changed <laughs> quite a bit in fact let me just land here so i've got my stats on my other screen so i'm just going to uh, tap over to those so yeah so in 2018 we had 650,000 uh, views across all videos in 2019 four and a half million views holy jeepers that is a lot of views <laughs> that's a lot of eyeballs so that is uh, again absolutely amazing and in terms of videos um last year our most popular video was the creeper farm i guess that won't come um, as a surprise to many people now that 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 uh, that video got about uh 200 000 views something like that in the year before so let's have a look around here if we've got any bees in fact as we're here this is a new area let's, let's walk around here and um, yes yeah, so the, the creeper farm got about 200,000 views uh, last year and then this year i released a new version of that uh, for 1.14 and that has now got 1.2 million views <laughs> wowzers <laughs> and yeah we've had uh, not only one one video that uh, was successful so last year just really the creeper farm was the the single successful video really uh you know in terms of uh large numbers of views uh, but this year we've got quite a few so we've got the creeper farm also our scale with a skeleton farm is approaching a million views not quite there yet but uh it's getting there um also our villager trading hall that's on uh three uh, that's three hundred and fifty thousand views and our carrot and potato farm is on 300,000 views. So we've had quite a few, um, quite a few uh, videos that have done well just on their own. So that has been uh, amazing. So I'm hoping to do some more videos like those, um, some more tutorial style ones. Um, sometimes those ones are not so easy to do because I always try and find, you know, maybe yeah, some different ways of doing things that people haven't done before. Uh, which is not always easy to come up with but yeah try and get some more of those done uh, for sure and I can't see any beehives as I walk around um, 
So we'll keep looking. <laughs> Hopefully we'll, we won't take too long to find them. And um, so, yeah, so on, to the, on the view counts and of course the subscriber counts. Ah, oh, there's one there. Yes. So yeah, we're doing pretty well. So that is a good thing. So obviously we need to keep those going um, next year. So let's come up here. And is there a B in here? Hmm. In fact, is there, where's the face? Ah, oh, there's the face of it. Now, are there any bees in this hive? That is the question. And the answer is yes, there certainly is. Two have popped out. Uh, we went here for a little while. So I'm just going to try and breed these two up. I'll, gather, I'll grab some flowers from just down there and hopefully we'll get a baby. Yes, there's a little baby. Awesome. And he's going to go down to that flower right there. So hopefully all of these will pop into here. It's getting night time. So that's actually got uh, quite good timing. So then we can uh, we can snag this. And I keep calling this a beehive. It is, of course, a bee nest, not to be confused. So um, I'm sure I'll get those two words uh, wrong and use them interchangeably. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty good. Right, he's, he's in. He's in. And we need one more. I need my silk touch. Yes. Right, let's grab this. We got it. Total bee location. All right. All right. So that is pretty good. Our first, our first bee nest. Yeah, get it right that time. <laughs> All right. So let's look around for some more and see if we can gather up some more bees and then take them back to base. And here is another one, a couple of bees just popping in there and this has got a max level already. So just wait for this guy to go in and we'll grab this, our second bee nest. Yep, I've got it right. <laughs> just looking around. There he goes, he's in. Let's grab this. Awesome. Right, we've now got two of them. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so let's keep looking. And then, yeah, we want to talk about some other things for this year. Uh, in particular, the goal of this year, which was to do more collaborations. So I found this lonely chap, so he's over here by himself, but there's a beehive, bee nest over there. And it's actually another one. Where did I see it? It was around here somewhere. Oh, where's it gone? There's definitely another one. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is, down here. <laughs> I knew it was here somewhere. So there is the other one. So I haven't seen any bees around this one, but the one over there, that's where that guy went. So there it is. So I'm not sure how many are in, in here. Uh, let's have, what, I think what I'll do is I'm going to hang around here and see and uh, just monitor and see how many bees come out and where they go. Uh, yeah, because I want to try and get three in here if I can. So just to transport them around to make it nice and easy. Um, we don't need to worry about it too much because we can breed them up. Uh, but I would like to get more of them. So yeah, let's see. Oh, there we go. This guy's come out of this one. All right, so we definitely got at least one bee in each, each one. So that's pretty good. All right, awesome. And so I've done some breeding and I've found another beehive. Just saw one pop in there right there. So that's got three in it at the moment. So got another one for the collection. So there we go, going well so far. So we've got five at the moment. So yeah, this uh, actually this flower forest has been pretty fruitful. There's been uh, quite a few around here. So I'm going to keep scouting around this one and then we'll move on to, uh, yeah, to the next one and see if we can get some more beehives. As it turns out, I couldn't find any more uh, bee nests uh, in, that, in that flower forest. And uh, I did a, I did a, did a fly around and couldn't find any more in the in the area. So I thought um, rather than spending a lot of time doing that right now, uh, we can go and find some more later. I want to get these bees back to the Death Star, and we can yeah, find a, find a home for them. So uh, yeah, it's just got the five uh, that we've got currently. So um, that's all right. We can come back and get some more, no problem. And of course, we can also uh, these are the bee nests, so we can also craft the bee hives once we've got uh, some honeycomb. So we could do all that kind of stuff. So no, uh, no kind of urgency on that front. But as we go back to the Death Star, I thought uh, the next thing we could talk about uh, in terms of the year review is the collaborations that we did. Um, so at the beginning of the year, uh, my goal for the year, rather than having goals of like subscriber numbers or views, that kind of stuff, um, my actual goal for the year was to try to do some uh, some collaborations. And up to that point, um, I hadn't done any. I, the, 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 uh, the channel was just me doing my own thing. And so that was one thing I wanted to change. Oh, hello. Uh oh. This doesn't work anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So this, oh, this needs a bit of work. That was a surprise. <laughs> All right, let's uh, be careful with that then. All right, let's uh, just bypass that for now. <laughs> Where was I? Right, collaborations. That's where we were after we got so really interrupted. Um, so yeah, so it's probably worth thinking about uh, the end of last year first. So uh, we actually did a first kind of collaboration at the end of 2018. And that was when we did a tour of the Cycraft server. That was an amazing experience. And it's probably worth talking about how that actually happened and uh, the reasons for it to give us a bit of a backstory uh, for what happened in 2019. So um, I think, I think anyway, that uh, a lot of that happened because of our, our switch uh, from Mixer to Twitch on the streaming platforms. So I used to I used to stream on Mixer and that was going okay. But um, I think that I, you know, I was getting a lot of, com I was getting a lot of uh, feedback from people that they prefer me to be on Twitch. 
and also some people having issues with Mixer itself. So uh, yeah, I took the plunge and I changed over to Mixer. And from there, I think that's where things changed uh, quite a bit. So I think I was getting some more views over on, on Twitch for one thing. And one of the viewers, I think was Methods. He must have seen me on a stream uh, because I remember after a stream one night, um, he got in contact with me and said, uh, you know, uh, we're looking to do a server tour. Uh, quite soon do you want to come and do it and i was like uh okay then <laughs> that was uh um amazing you know because uh, methods was someone that i i knew of i had never spoken to before uh, but i certainly knew of him and for him to get in contact with me was uh, pretty mind-blowing so of course i uh, jumped at the chance to do that and that was the first uh, first collaboration uh, on the channel so that was at the end of 2018. so then after that obviously we had the dissecting minecraft series that we started with methods um after that that went pretty well so how that happened was i had the idea for the series and uh, yeah i just approached methods and said what do you reckon so you could be the teacher i'll be the student and we'll uh, show off a few things and try and teach teach some people get some education going and he just said yes straight away and yeah, we got we got moving, so that was really good. Um, that season, that series hasn't technically finished. Um, we just got to a point where we'd covered all the things I think we wanted to cover, uh, pretty much. And it also have also coincided with the release of 1.14, where there was a lot of changes in flux, and we didn't want to sort of start doing more tutorials about things that could change because there was a lot of uh, uncertainty at that time. And then we just never picked up again. So that may well come back in the future. I'm not sure yet, um, but yeah, I'll hold tight for that, and we'll we'll see what happens. I think I found a bug. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see this, but there's a very faint line. This is the hitbox of the flower and the flower is actually right here, but uh, its hitbox is kind of off from where the, the flower itself is being uh, being shown. So, and it's the same on this one here. Look, there's the hitbox and there is the flower. So yeah, that one's good. That one's off, it looks like as well. And so is that one. So it looks like flower hitboxes are off. Just notice that. But um, yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, just setting up a temporary, a temporary bee farm here so we can get some honey going. And we're building it in the storage room uh, to make sure that it is temporary. Um, sometimes, you know, you build these things and then you intend for them to be temporary and then end up being there forever. So uh, that's not what we want to do here. So just going to set this up here. So this is going to be the standard uh, bee farm that most people do now. So you're going to have a beehive here, a comparator behind it bit of redstone that uh, then fires the uh, the uh, dispenser with the bottles in it and then we'll get uh, an output underneath so then we can just leave this running and then I can have a think about actually what we want to do with these bees in here um, in the fullness of time so I want to have a proper bee farm that's, that's much bigger than this uh, inside the Death Star somewhere I also want to think about being able to turn it on and off and um, so thinking about that too and it's good to do it in the end because bees at night time in the overworld will go into their hive and we'll basically shut down production overnight and then come out again in the morning. So if you do this in the end or also the nether, uh, you'll get more output out of it. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to build this up, then I'll show you what I got. And then we can continue talking about the collaborations that we've done this year. We need some more bottles, so I'm off to the witch farm to go and collect some. Uh, we've got a few in storage, but not too many. So we're going to go back there and get a few shulker boxes full. So on ter in terms of the collaboration, so the next one that we did after that was pretty soon after um, Dissecting Minecraft started, and that was we did the podcast. We did uh, the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs and Joel Duggan. That was super cool and uh, pretty surprised to get invited over there. But yeah, that was really good fun. So I'm um, hoping to do maybe some more things like that again in the future. Uh, but that was really good to hang out with those guys talk about technical minecraft and uh you know give my points of view across and i think that that episode of their podcast uh, seems to do pretty well we made it we're back to the witch farm and yeah the next collaboration after that i think uh, on the list is uh the sky zoo that we did with the, the magnificent the famous the mighty doc m77 that was an amazing experience as well um the way that happened uh, we were just kind of talking just now and again just on twitter and also on discord uh, nothing nothing major just uh, yeah the old message here and there uh, just keeping in touch and stuff and yeah one day i just said um hey doc do you fancy doing something one day <laughs> some kind of uh, some kind of thing together and he was like yeah of course why not and so uh, we kind of brainstormed a few ideas i don't know why i came up there <laughs> i need to go to the storage <laughs> so we just brainstormed some ideas uh, backs and forwards a few times and yeah so we landed on the idea of sky zoo and it didn't take that long once we kind of landed on the idea kind of worked out the details we got uh, sky rising involved from cycraft who did the mod for us um to make that work and um why am i going back there i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> the bottles are here um yeah so that all came together pretty well and then yeah we just started so it kind of i think from when we started talking about it to recording the first episode took maybe two weeks 
uh, not long at all. And yeah, that went really well. We uh, really enjoyed that series. I've already got a video uh, on the channel about uh, kind of what happened and why that finished early. So if you're interested in that, then go and check out that video. But basically it turns out that that series was just too hard uh, for us to get into our schedules uh, at the time. Um, but obviously we, uh, we've we done stuff since, which we'll talk about in a bit. And yeah, we're always looking for, uh, for new projects in the future as well. So uh, hopefully there'll be some new things coming at some point. We're almost ready, just need to put the uh, the bee nests in and I'll show you what I've done. So here we've got an upside down dispenser uh, along all the way with uh, empty bottles inside and the bee nests are going to go just in there above these hoppers and underneath or behind should I say we've got these comparators and they will read the honey level of these uh, of these honey nests, uh, bee nests should I say and yeah that will give us a signal strength depending on how how filled up it is and so if it's got uh, if it's fully filled up then we get a signal strength of five so that will uh, light up this dust here so one two three four and five so it will, it will activate uh, this block and this uh, this dispenser which will uh, give us some honey uh, some honey uh, bottles that come out and then they'll get sucked up by these hoppers and into this chest hopefully if i've got that right <laughs> so i haven't tested this i'll just uh just put it together so hopefully this is going to work so let's pop these down now i'm just using these these um uh, these panes here just so we can put these nests in and the bees won't escape when they come out so hopefully this is going to work this thing is working here are some bees doing their dance on the flowers and we are getting we are getting some honey uh, underneath there so that is all cool so it's all working which is super cool and yeah so the next thing on my list i was kind of looking at uh, the other collaborators we've done got uh, still got quite a few to do to talk about and time is running out so i'm gonna have to just uh, do these ones a bit quicker um but yeah, the next one on my list is we did a tour of the Prototech server. Uh, so Ray, Ray Works, uh, invite us over there uh, to talk about uh, and show us their, their lightning farm, which was uh, just craziness, where uh, I think a lightning strike happens every tick of the game and they can uh, do craziness with lightning. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out because that was uh, very cool indeed as well. And then uh, we did the world tour, episode 100, where we toured this world with Impulse and Skiz. That was absolutely brilliant. I think that was one of the highlights of the year. Uh, for me that was just amazing to show off the stuff that we've been working on in this place uh, for the last uh, over two years now um, to some new people that haven't really seen much, very much of it and just to see their reactions and answer their questions stuff like that was just that was just really really cool uh, really amazing they were the perfect guests so thanks again to those guys for coming over uh, yeah really enjoyed that that was great fun great great fun and then of course we've got the most recent thing that we've done which is uhc captains where we've got a bunch of youtubers together as captains in a uhc world oh, oh we've got some spawns <laughs> I need to light that up but yeah so that's uh, that is still running and uh, if this video goes out as it should on sunday the grand final of, of uh, uhc captains is going to be tomorrow so that's monday so uh, yeah watch out for that who is going to win? Who's going to be champion, the champion captain? Who knows? Well, I know because it's already been recorded, but you don't. <laughs> so yeah, definitely go and check that out. That was a lot of fun. So thanks again to those guys that joined uh, the UHC captain. So we've got Doc as a captain. We've got Fwip. Uh, we've got Silent Whisperer and also Slice Lime. Um, some amazing people again. Can't really believe that I <laughs> got all those people to, uh, uh, to join up and that actually happened. So yeah, that was really cool as well. So um, the other thing uh, as I, that's going to lead me on to the plans for next year, and I'll come into this room for this, is that the other collaboration that we did this year was episode 75. That was a special episode of uh, of Beyond Logic where we got uh, some community uh, some community help. So uh, we rescued Zaref from the uh, from the uh, asteroid outside, and we built uh, we built um, uh, Starbug outside. Let's go. Let's back. Let's go over there and check it out. So that was a really cool episode. Uh, some uh, some uh, you know doing stuff with the community is always good, and we got some voiceovers for the beginning. That was really good fun as well. And that leads me into what I'd like to do. Um, as a goal for next year. So for 2020, I want to make that more focused on the community. So rather than um, focusing on uh, collaborations with uh, other content creators, obviously I'd like to do that as well. That's something that I want to just keep keep going. But as a, as a new goal, in addition, um, I want to do some more things with the community. So um, I want to get my thinking cap on and work out what we can do and how it's going to work. But also I'm looking for suggestions from the community. So if you've got some ideas about what we can do together, um, both things that can be recorded and put onto the channel, but also things that don't have to be like that, maybe things that could be live streamed um, that we can do together. And um, let's get those, uh, let's get the suggestions going. Um, I think uh, 
doing stuff with the community this year. I've taken my eye off the ball a little bit on that front. And so I need to get back to that and trying to uh, do a good job with that stuff because the community is absolutely amazing. We've got amazing people and it's a really friendly and really good community. So I want to keep that going and make sure uh, that we do stuff together because, you yeah, know, it's fun and it's cool. So we should do that. So, yeah, get your suggestions in. And that is going to be the goal for next year. And in addition to that, on the community front, I also want to try and meet some more people in real life. Just some more meeting up. And a key thing, a key part of that is going to be Minecon. So uh, I'm hopefully going to be going to Minecon. I need to make sure I get a ticket. But if I do, I will be going. And hopefully we can meet, uh, yeah, do some meet and greets uh, over there. So uh, if you're planning to go to Minecon, then let me know. And if I do end up going, then uh, watch out on the channel for some news about that. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah, things will work out. And that'll be a good opportunity to, yeah, you know, meet up and, uh, yeah, share some uh, share some stories of Minecraft and that kind of stuff. So that'll be super cool as well. So um, just before we finish up, um, I think in January coming up, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a reshuffle to uh, the schedule. So and also thinking about uh, new series and just uh, just some changes in general. So in January, there may be a few less videos, might take a little bit of a break uh, just to get organized. Uh, but then things will continue afterwards. So if you do, do see a lull in some videos, don't worry. Uh, that is all part of the plan. No, uh, no problem there. And sorry, this episode seems to have gone a little bit longer. I've done a lot of talking, <laughs> not a lot of building and stuff, but uh, always good to kind of review uh, where, where you are with things and kind of make plans for the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please hit the like button. And if you're new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, then get it in that comment section. All right, my geeks. Until next time, I will see you later.